What's going on everybody? Today I want to talk about USB charging. Specifically, I want to discuss a rumor that goes around. It's a, it's a big myth and it, uh, it goes beyond the, the vaping community by far. And it's something that is uh, hurting really everyone uh, in the sense that it spreads fear where uh, there absolutely is no need for any. And it's about um, how many amps can your charger be uh, when you plug it in? What's the, the amp rating of your charger? And uh, a lot of people say, well, don't use a charger that's more than one amp on this piece of, uh, on this piece of equipment or this device, or it'll, it'll overload it, it'll make it catch on fire or whatever. And um, it's, uh, there's a combination of failures in understanding that, uh, that bring people to that point. And um, mainly, they may have just, they may have rightly processed misinformation. So I don't blame the people who spread that, uh, that myth necessarily. But today we're going to fix it. So uh, let's get some terminology down. Um, this is a charger, okay? This is a USB uh, lithium ion slash uh, lithium polymer. And by the way, lithium polymer is a subset of lithium ion. So, um, anyway, so this, uh, this is a charger, micro USB input, uh, connected to the battery on the output. Uh, this is also a charger. This right here is a charger. Okay. Micro USB. It's got a single chip and a few discrete components. Goes to your battery. 18650, LiPo doesn't fucking matter. This thing will charge both of them just fine. Uh, <clears throat> this one is... Let's see if there's a rating on it. No. Maybe half an amp. Doesn't really matter. Um, this one is this one is a one amp. What that means is uh, given a sufficient uh, sufficiently large power supply, it will provide one amp to the batteries uh, for the uh, up to one amp to the batteries uh, to charge them. And, uh, and we'll say this one's half an amp, even though it may not even be maybe 300 milliamps. So uh, versus 500 milliamps, which is half an amp, in case you didn't know. Uh, so yeah, same thing with uh, sufficient power supply. Uh, it charges it. So um, what do I mean when I say power supply? I mean, shit like this. The thing you plug into the wall that, uh, that you use to power all your devices is a power supply. This is not a charger. This is a power supply. Connects to a USB cord, which connects to your charger. Okay? Good enough, right? Same thing. Let's kick it old school. This is an old uh, iPod power supply. All right? Uh, this is a, this is actually a firewire power supply. This puts out like 12 volts, I think. Doo -doo. Yeah, this puts out 12 volts at uh, 670 milliamps. Um, but it's a it is a power supply. It is actually a <clears throat> it is a regulator. Both of these are regulators. What they do is they put out this one puts out a standard 5 volt USB signal at um, one amp. So up to one amp. And, uh, and I'll explain the difference between this, the one amp of this thing and the one amp of this thing, because that's where people are getting confused. I'll explain that in a second. This is a 12 volt regulator. It puts out 12 volts at up to the 670 amps. So uh, 670 milliamps. 670 amps would be a little bit more. Um, so the fundamental difference between a power supply and a charger is this. A power supply is a voltage regulator. It maintains a constant voltage. Uh, within uh, a pretty wide range of inputs and and loads and it will try to maintain that voltage with a very small margin uh, up until it is rated at one amp it will actually supply it can supply more than one amp uh, within whatever its uh, programmed overload limits are and if it has any uh, maybe it'll just provide as many amps as it can until it burns up uh, but that's up to the people who designed this thing to make that that uh, protection, but that's what this does. That's all it does. Um, this, on the other hand, is different. 
what a battery charger does is it it has a constant voltage mode and a constant current mode. So basically, um, all else being equal, it has it has systems in place to protect from what I'm about to explain. But if you just shorted the output together instead of putting it on the battery, if you just shorted it together, uh, all else being the same, it would just it would just have a one amp loop, and it would function just fine that way. If you were to short this thing and it had no protection, it would it would fail, it would burn up. Um, so that's one fundamental difference is battery chargers have a current controller that limit the amount of current that will come out of it regardless of what type of load is connected to it. Whereas this thing is not going to limit inherently, it is not going to limit the amount of current that goes into it. It may have a, um, it may have a current limiter as a protection device but that's different than having one as a as a regulator. But so I'm trying to keep it simple. So the the, the simplest application is voltage regulator controls voltage, not current. This controls both. So I talked about how it controls current. How it controls voltage is it will not supply any more than 4.2 volts. It will supply, but it will also it will supply considerably less than that. So if it's in constant current mode, we'll say you have batteries that are discharged. So they're at 3.5 volts and you want to charge them up. Um, this thing's going to put out slightly more than 3.5 volts. It doesn't, it doesn't really care how much voltage it's putting out. What it's doing is it's putting out as much current as it possibly can. And this is where the rubber meets the road here. This is where I'm really trying to tie in how this works. Is um, If you have a, uh, a 2 amp power supply and a 1 amp charger, then you're absolutely sure that with, with whatever efficiency losses, this thing will put out its max 1 amp to the discharge batteries until they start getting close to that uh, 4.2 volt range. And then the, the current will taper off until it reaches 4.2 volts, and there will be no more current um, supplied to it, or very, very little. And that is how a battery charger works versus a power supply. <clears throat> so um, that's uh, that's it. And I want to show you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you over to my uh, my desk with all my equipment and I'm going to show you how that works on a power supply. I'm going to try to give you an example of what a battery charger does to the best of my ability. So let's go over here and check it out. All right. So I have a lot of stuff going on here, I know. That's okay. Uh, the big things you need to be concerned with are my batteries in my battery tray and these two clips right here, okay? Now these are connected directly to the contacts in the battery tray. And we have up here our power supply. And all it's going to be doing is setting I have it set to 4.2 volts and I have the current limited to 2 amps so <clears throat> and these batteries are, are fairly well discharged so I just want you to see I have no more than 4.2 volts but I have a current limit set to 2 amps so once I plug this thing in that voltage is going to drop to just above battery voltage and you see we're we're all connected here no smoke no mirrors and everything's fine look at that everything's perfect and uh, this is this is how it works ladies and gents um, and just to show you our fluke right here so I unplug it and battery voltage is going to drop a little bit I plug it back in that battery voltage is going to rise so it has to put as it puts that energy back into the batteries, the voltage is going to rise until it reaches its 4.2-volt uh, limit. Now, as it gets closer to that limit, when it gets real close to the limit, this current is going to... Oops. This current is going to ramp down. And I can show you that uh, <clears throat> in an accelerated manner by putting a battery in it which is uh, which is less discharged 
I just have to go get one. Let's see. Oh, there's my stuff. Oh, there's one right behind me. Okay, good. So, let's see. Okay, I have an little Panasonic NCR 18650B. Uh, oh, ICR cell. So, uh, good oldie but goodie. So I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to pop this one out. See, our voltage has popped back up. I'm actually going to tune it to right at or right below 4.2 volts. Like that. I'm going to pop this guy in. Just like that. 0.3 amps. And we're at uh, very close to 4.2 volts. So I unplug it and yeah, I'm at 4.1 and change. So this is about fully charged. Okay, so that is the behavior as the same behavior you're going to see with a battery charger, with a proper battery charger. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, how am I supposed to believe you, Mike? I don't know who you are. You're just a weird guy with a stupid looking face. Well, that's true. But, I happen to have some Ziegenbach over here, by the way. Nom nom nom. Oh, that's good. Okay. I happen to have a battery charger. This is a charger. This is a power supply. Not unlike this, except this is way more expensive and more complicated. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I'm going to show you the difference. And, uh, or I'm going to show you the, uh, the lack of difference, rather, uh, in how this operates versus how this operates. So, let's go back to our... I'm going to unplug this first. And now I'm going to turn the current limit all the way up. And that's uh, bring you over here. This is a 30 amp power supply. And in case you guys don't believe me, uh, I want to show you. So I'm going to plug it in. And have it shorted. No smoke, no mirrors, okay? So, I'm going to turn the current up. And I have to do this kind of quickly. Boom. 31 amps, okay? I can't do that for very long because this, this whole front system is not designed for that. But, I'm lazy, so deal with it. Okay, so you see it can do, it can do 30 amps. Get it, got it, good. Okay, now... I'm going to turn this up to, well, I'm going to turn the current all the way up. I'm going to turn the voltage up to 5 volts. Emulate, mm, yummy, emulating a USB power supply. So, now we're just like this, only beefier. So I'm going to go negative right there. I'm going to go positive right here. Red light means we're charging. So, we're drawing about 0.3 amps. Now remember what we saw over here. I'll try to get both of these in frame together. So we're drawing about 0.3 amps. What we saw over here before, we were drawing about 0.1-ish, 0.2-ish amps um, before I popped it off. So let's go to my handy dandy Fluke 325. Let's set it to DC. We're going to zero it out, and I'm going to clamp it, and I'm going to move the camera after I do this so you can see exactly what the clamp sees. So let's move it over here. So about 0.26 amps, 2.5, and it's going to decrease as we continue, okay? So that's consistent with what we saw right here, okay? And the voltage is this is the voltage right here, still at the battery, okay? Now, let's do the same thing. This charger doesn't like it when I swap batteries. That's plugged in, so I have to do it this way. I'm just going to put in, you know what, I'm going to put in both of these, so it's exactly the same. 
test that I performed before in case any of you haters want to talk doo-doo about my methodology. Same thing. Clip. All right, now we're pulling an amp. We're down to 3.5-ish, like we were before. You can rewind the video if you don't believe me. Flute 387, or 325, I don't know why I said 387. Oh, because I'm probably combining the 87 and the 325. Well, oh, it's zero, yeah, it's zero-ish. So we're gonna pop it right on there, clamp it down, nice and good. We're gonna come over, 0.93. So that's pretty close to an amp. We're going to call that good for a one amp charger. So folks, that's how uh, the that's how battery chargers work versus power supplies. Um, I hope I've illustrated this clearly. Uh, if I haven't, uh, by all means, tell me in the freaking comments, guys. Um, if you if you like this and you find yourself in this argument in a vape group or any other group, uh, share this. Put it out there to people. Uh, I want people to be properly informed about it. I know a lot of people like to say, oh, better safe than sorry. Well, yes, but you're no less safe by supplying your battery charger with a 30 amp power supply than you are with a 10, with a 1 amp power supply or a 10 amp power supply or whatever. It's not reducing your safety even in the slightest. And that's the biggest thing I need you guys to understand. Um, so better safe than sorry doesn't even apply here. Uh, what you're really ultimately saying is better more ignorant than less ignorant. And uh, and that's simply not the case. Um, it is uh, It is vital that uh, everyone in a community like a vaping community is um, is informed properly on uh, electrical principles. These are basic electrical principles. Um, and this goes for, and I'll, I'll reiterate it once again, assuming any of you have made it to this point in the video, um, the amp rating on, on any power supply is its maximum specified uh, capability. It's not what it will force ah, into the uh, battery charger. That's not how it works, okay? Um, like I said, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, this is this is how we learn, folks. Uh, give me feedback. Otherwise, I can't get better. And uh, have a wonderful vapey, box modi kind of day. <laughs>